Between the Time's Up movement and the changing faces of Congress, 2018 has been a huge year for women. Every year, Brit.co Brit reflects on the biggest female change makers and women's issues in the news with their Year in Women package. So today on Build Brunch with Brit, we'll discuss some of our own influential women of 2018 and their impact. I love this. So yeah. explain why you guys decided to focus on women. Well, obviously as a company, we really care about women and pushing women forward. And we started to just chronicle the milestones and people who changed the year of women mm -hmm. every year. So for 2018, we've got lists ranging from like Emma Gonzalez, uh, you know, from the Parkland shootings to the Times Up ladies, the Black Panther ladies, but also just like some of the big milestone like Times Up and like some Jeez. of the things that happened in Washington. And we really go deep on every topic and every person, profile them and put it all up on uh, Brit.co slash Year in Women as our Brit Co package every year. Yeah. So let's talk about some of the women that you guys profiled. The first one is Emma Gonzalez, who we all saw yeah. speaking out passionately after the Parkland shooting. And I think she really became a face of the movement um, and she had so many different layers too which is why I think she was such an impactful person. Yeah you know with all the shootings this year I think like Gen Z just really rose up so much and Emma was kind of just like spearheading a bunch of that for for that generation. I'm excited to see what happens next. I mean they've built their Instagram accounts and Twitter accounts and these like you know lobbying Congress and the Hill and so I, I really think that Gen Z is going to make a huge movement forward even in 2019 and beyond. I can't imagine gun shootings, high school shootings are over, um, which sadly, but but I think that more and more people are really excited about fighting against it and gun reform in America. So that was a big one. We also had Serena Williams, like I mentioned. She was probably one of my favorites. I watched yeah. the HBO documentary, if you haven't seen it yet. Um, being Serena, it's a five part series. I mean, she came out of like motherhood. She had been, you know, taking time off from her game, came back, you know, argued against the ref, um, like just really stood up for herself. And I think that was something that a lot of women looked at um, and, and were like, I should do that for myself. Whether it's a small moment in the office, all the way to like playing on the court, like standing up for yourself, having a voice and being a strong woman and a mother uh, and showing people that that's okay. Yeah. We've talked about Serena a lot here. I mean, what was, she was just on the cover of, was it GQ? GQ. And they named her like woman of the year. Yeah. yeah. So I think when you're able to see a woman then be honored by a men's magazine as like a leader for the years, like, She's doing something right. Yeah. yeah. Greatest athlete really cool. ever, I mean, arguably. Hands really down. Yeah. I agree. Who else is on this list? Oh, Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle. I mean, the we royal wedding. We talk about Meghan like daily here. Yeah. <laughs> How could Double you M, M and M. Um, yeah. I mean, the royal wedding. What's? I mean, there's so many things about that, you know, and her family and her background and being American and. I mean, everyone was all about that. Wasn't it, like, didn't it make some history with, like, the number one TV tune-in or oh, something the of the rating. year? Exactly. It, the ratings were through the roof. Something like that. And, of course, now she's pregnant, so. <laughs> that the all wedding broke a lot of boundaries, the royal family, exactly. having a baptist fire and everything. It was, she was exactly. great. And, like, so bring, great. brought our countries together a little bit more. My favorite in a random way. moment from that wedding is still Prince Charles helping her mom out of the pews. Yes. And I was like, oh, look at these families bonding. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, we've got the Black Panther women. I think yes. argue. I think Black Panther was probably one of the top movies of the year. Oh, this could it's be. It's not the top. Yeah. Like, do you think it's the top? I do. I do. You think? Because we're still talking about it. and It feels like it was like over a year ago, but it was just this year. I mean, yeah. I liked *A Star Is Born* too. I finally saw it, and I. Oh, it's good. Lady Gaga's not on our list, but I would sort of put her on the list because <laughs> she really broke some boundaries in yeah. terms of what she's done. Um, and. Yeah. and singing and acting, so I love that one. And then, of course, we have kind of entertainment um, stars like Busy Phillips mm -hmm. and Cardi B, who really pushed their own personal brands forward using platforms like Instagram to have a voice and to show women that they can be real and authentic and yet still like be an entertainer and live a successful life. Yeah, that uh, late night space is something that I think we all watch really closely. Yeah. yeah. Have you guys been watching Busy, by the way? I watched uh, the first week a little bit. You know, it's, she's like, it's really a personable show that's all about her and just like talking to, like she's just talking casually to her friends. So I kind of like that. It's different than the other late night host. She's yeah. definitely not doing Samantha Bee's game. No one can do Samantha Bee's game. So she's doing like her own thing, which is pop culture, it's busy. It's trying to be like her Instagram account. So if you like her Instagram account, you're gonna like her show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love the show. I feel like I, my problem is I think her Instagram is so fulfilling that yeah. I I forget to go see the show because I'm like, I think she does a great job on Instagram. Right. It's like a show. Mm -hmm. 
So sometimes I'm just caught oh, up yes. in that. I just watch her working out. Like, I'll, yeah. she, uh, like almost every day she's posting a workout video and I'm staring at her doing like yeah. thigh raises. I'm so intrigued. <laughs> <laughs> like, what Cardi is this? B's another good one too. Cardi B. Yeah. We were listening to Cardi B this morning. When she yeah. Ali Money. really is, raps Cardi B really well. Yeah. Uh, thank you. I like that song, Money, but there's no tune. It's just like, I need money. I need what? money, I need it. Like, oh, <laughs> is this a song? I don't know. It's, it's, it just feels like a track, but. I mean, Anyways, her, I guess she's good. Yeah, her Nicki Minaj videos <laughs> were just unreal. I mean, yeah. she's literally dealing out receipts to Nicki Minaj about that whole feud. I mean, I like Nicki too, but yeah. that was, Cardi B just is like, she lays it all out there. Like, yes. there's no, she's not hiding anything. Her boldness is what we love, and I guess what maybe some people don't love about her, but I do love yeah. that she's like, I'm gonna have this baby, I'm gonna come back bigger than ever, and she did that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she's not afraid to take on people in the industry who maybe are the leaders, yeah. and that's mm -hmm. very bold mm -hmm. and controversial, but. You know who that reminds me of who we should be honoring this year? Stacey Abrams. That's oh, it. yes. What a good woman to be, who just to have on your radar, that race in Georgia, the runoff is. She ran, yeah. a, she ran a progressive campaign that if it wasn't for voter suppression, she would be the next governor of Georgia. It's un mm -hmm. unfortunate. She's awesome when, when she's not done with her, but that gets me thinking of all the women in politics. This oh was the year God. of the women. Yeah. Kamala Harris is my favorite senator right yeah. now. Her performance at Senate Judiciary Committee, of course, Dr. Ford, that was an incredible, she's a hero, Dr. Mm -hmm. Ford and yeah. Kamala. Hopefully, maybe running for president, we'll see. But then in Congress, you know, 100 women ran. You have Alexandra Costa Cortez, yes. the youngest woman ever elected we to Congress. We need to get her on this show, I think. Yeah. Oh, she yeah. would be. Yeah. And if you're watching, good. we would love for you to come sit and chat with us. Also, another, local another person local. with an amazing <laughs> Instagram that you should follow. She really takes you behind the scenes. You have um, Ayanna Presley, the first black woman elected oh, from Massachusetts. I love her. Um, Alan, Alan Omar and Rashida Tai, I pronounced the name wrong, but the first Muslim women. Like, it was mm -hmm. such an incredible year. And of course, we, my girl, we know her, we love her. She's old, but she's <laughs> Nancy Pelosi's returning to the speakership. Yeah, likely. Yeah, say Jessica we know her, we love her. We know we love her. She's been around for a while, but we're gonna have a woman, the, the third most powerful position in government. I think that's yeah. it's gonna be a really big. It's been a big year for women in government. I'm gonna throw really a Maxine excited. Waters to you just because she is always holding well, it down. And RBG. Oh, RB, oh RBG. Yeah. RBG. I'm, yes. I'm I'm dedicating whatever body fun organ she needs to survive <laughs> exactly. for the rest. Like I, I think it's a, like a rib. I'll, she got one. My kidney. I think. She she can take yeah. part of my liver and exactly. it'll survive, like whatever she needs. Yeah, RB. Yeah, you was... can just kill me. Just take whatever you need. I, I can die for this. Yeah, it's like, so you yeah. have to give up, you give up a life to save a life? Like, yeah, yeah done. Take my, I'm not doing anything. I'm just talking about butts all day. Like, I just take my organs. Yeah. It was such a good year for women uh, in government. I was so, it was such yeah. a good optimistic end this year. We just it. gotta keep it going. Yeah, yeah, gotta keep it going. With all these women, I think we just gotta make sure that it's 2018 isn't some special moment no. that it like continues. I think it is. I mean, I think yeah. the theme around it is just like the boldness of yeah. women really standing up, having a voice like Cardi B, yeah. all the way to these women in Congress. Yeah. Um, so if anything, all you women watching out there, please like be bold, have a voice, speak up yes. for yourself. Like it is like leaning on crack yeah. these days. So 2019 I think is gonna be even stronger. I agree. Absolutely. <laughs>